Uh, Papa John's uh, founder is having a bit of a funny time on the interwebs. Hello, um, so Papa John Schnatter, guys. He's just not it's having the, it's it. Let's put it up, 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 up. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Come on. There we go. YouTube is taking so long. So I'm, I'm sure you're all aware of the meme going around the Papa John founder. Um, I think the big why this is the big deal. I think because uh, prior to Papa John's prior to all this debacle that's happened since the Papa John founder got asset from his company. Papa John's was like one of the official partners of the NFL. He had really good relationships with the, you know, organ uh, franchise owners and stuff. And the NFL essentially looking from the outside in is kind of like the United States royal family. Like once you're an owner of a team, you'd never let it go. It's like it's a basically a dynasty that gets passed down to your kids. Uh, the kids, the kids get involved somewhere or the other. Um, they're front and center at all the games. It's a real big thing, right? Because American football is, you know, the biggest sport in the U.S. for the most part. So Papa John's being associated with um, NFL was a big deal for him, right? Smoozing and you know being pally pally with all the founders and sorry, all the owners of teams sitting up in the press box. It's just a big, it's a big thing, big part of his identity. So the fact that he got ousted from his company due to an issue, I think, concerning HR. I think there was an issue about somebody using the N word in some sort of meeting, and he essentially did what that Netflix guy did, where they were having a uh, some sort of HR or you know staff meeting, and he essentially read out a transcript of what was said, and he said the word that was on the paper instead of saying N word, he said the actual word. Um, <laughs> obviously, someone in the in the someone that one one of the staff members snitched, reported him, and because it's a publicly listed traded, public, because it's a publicly listed traded company. Even though he owned majority shares, he still somehow was outside of his own company, which is quite messed up if you think about it, right? Regardless of what you think about him saying the word, the fact that you own a company and it's named after you and it's got your face on the box, you can still get ousted out of the company, even though you own a majority stock, is wild, 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 wild. And I think since then, they've kind of enlisted Shaq as the brand ambassador, or maybe he owns part of it. Um, and it's just a constant, you know thing that's happening now in the background where they're still going back and forth i think the founder is not i think he's kind of realized now that he probably gave up too quickly and probably panicked he probably could have you know ignored it and just carried on working maybe i don't know maybe still still got buried out but he says she's still fine in court and he had an interview recently now with one radio or one tv station and he essentially um yeah he looked quite interesting i'm not sure if it's the fact that he made an interesting comment regarding how many pieces he eats i'm not sure it's because of the pieces he eats that he looks like this or is it because of the amounts of blow he's been doing prior to the interview but you guys can kind of make your own assumptions hello so papa john schnatter guys he's just not having it the founder and former ceo of his namesake restaurant did an interview with a local louisville affiliate and he accused his successor steve ritchie and current and former board members of conspiring against him schnatter was ousted after admitting to using a racial slur on a conference now the conspiring against you statement you uh, but i guess you know he's his face always been like that right he's got quite a doughy face you know what his face looks like he's got the face that he's got like a face of an mma fighter you know an mma fighter's got loads of scar tissue if ever you watched um an mma fighter interview and the camera's really up close especially if they're not like on a on a big station like espn or whatever it's just some youtube channel interviewing him interviewing him or her when they zoom in close you can tell they've got loads of scar tissue from all the times they've been opened up stitched up opened up stitched up right from fighting and he looks like he's got that kind of face just full of scar tissue or really bad plastic surgery he doesn't look like plastic surgery. looks like he's got just loads of scar tissue all around him so he's just naturally got a really lumpy face anyway Conference call last and also it's not like a you know it's not conspiring against you if you decide to use the n-word in like a public setting somewhere you know, that's not really conspiring maybe he means that is that conspiring were they like looking for him was he prone to saying that word all these years and no one recorded him or is it the fact that they were just looking to him to make one misstep and then they're going to pounce on it but let's check it in regardless he says executives use that incident to quote steal the company from him more importantly schnatter said the company's pizza just isn't the same since he's gone take a listen i've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days and it's not the same pizza it's not the same product it just doesn't jesus Christ. imagine eating 40 pizzas in over in un, in 30 days so he he what's he doing is he um i wonder if he's was he is he doing the thing like barstool sports where they kind of get a go to a pizza shop and the guy eats you know a couple pizzas you know um, a couple slices sorry and then probably gives the rest of it to you know some passerby or to one of the cameramen or whoever it may be like what's he doing with that pizza is he eating the entire thing 30 pieces in 40 days have you ever had one of those weekends where you order up a, a, a domino's like and then they've got those deals where you get two large pieces for 20 pounds or whatever maybe have you ever done that i have right and have you ever been on an occasion where you've eaten a couple of slices and then you've just got loads left over the next day 
and you're wondering like, how the why did I eat all this so much and you just have to eat it because you don't want to throw it away right? you spent 20 pounds on it so imagine having imagine eating and again we don't know the size of it but geez that's a lot of pizza and he's not like 500 pounds which I don't sure how he's like still kind of relatively fit it doesn't really make any sense like he, he looks quite you know quite fit for his age and all that stuff like it's nutty nutty that that is even possible and he's super sweaty as well it looks like he's they're leaking the pizza the way they're putting the pizza together is just not fundamentally sound to what makes a Papa John's pizza a Papa John's pizza <laughs> I love <laughs> I love this whole like out this kind of fallout behind Papa John's like it's I feel quite sad for him bad for him because again like you know you know that silhouette of his right the curly hair he looks a little bit like Razor Ramon, right? Kind of style, lumpy face. You know that silhouette when, whenever you order the Papa John's pizza, you know his face. You've seen it in front of the box all the time. So I do quite feel for him and I do recognize that, you know, every single day, every time you saw him, he was always wearing that red shirt. You know, I don't think that's actual Papa John's shirt, but he's always wearing a red shirt. Even the setting now, he's in some sort of red cinema with red backgrounds. I don't know if he actually picked it out himself, but he's, you know, he's, the, he's essentially Mr. Papa John's. And to suddenly not have that as part of your identity anymore, it must be brutal. But to go on as if this is some like, I don't know, wiki level, WikiLeaks level type of conspiracy against you is nutty, really. Especially if you just, if you were dumb enough to use the N-word in a kind of professional HR setting, especially in today's climate, and think you could get away with it. Like, the Netflix guy should have been a really good example, right? That was even more egregious because the Netflix guy was just, I think, reading out something that happened between people. Like, he was just reading out a statement and he just said the word. And he said it again and then he just got fired like it wasn't even a thing of like he had any history of saying anything racial no disciplinary stuff no cause for being misogynistic or whatever it may be or reinforcing the patriarchy just the dude who was kind of conducting some kind of you know um consulate consult constellation or consultation whatever it may be and said the n-word and he got completely ousted so for him to say it and think he could get away with it is nutty is no longer the company's largest shareholder. He's been selling off his stock over the last year. In the interview, he talked about a quote, a day of reckoning coming in which the truth would come out <laughs> a about day what of reckoning. happened. Papa John's did not respond to a request for comment on the interview, which went viral online. You saw celebrities like Chrissy Teigen, Sarah Silverman. All did he post that? What's day of reckoning? He has that quote? Oh, they didn't quote that quote on there, but yeah. Big up him, man. A day of reckoning. I I think the, the actual interview asked him, oh, like, what do you mean a day of reckoning? Why can't you just talk about it now? He was like, wait, the truth, every Everything will come out in the end. The truth will be talked. It's like, dude, like this isn't that big of a deal. Do you know what I mean? Like, just just tell us what happened. And again, I'm I'm interested to see like just exactly what the what he thinks is his best defense in this regard. Like, what is the actual? Yeah, like, what's the thing that's going to vindicate him? What does he think is going to be the thing that's going people are going to be like, oh man, now I get why he said that word. I wonder what he thinks is going to be the thing. I wonder. I wonder. To, let's see anyway. Well, let's wait and see the consequences. But yeah, we got the Papa John's founder, man, or ex-founder, or well, yeah, founder. But he's not part of the company anymore, CEO. Like, you know, you're an absolute legend, my friend. Legend, legend, legend.